Hey guys, take a minute with the video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you guys one quick, easy, simple solution if your phone is frozen or stuck on the screen and you can't touch it or do anything. This is the Apple recommended solution to do and you're going to want to do that for any sort of software bug or issue and the solution here is known as a force restart. Again, this is going to fix if your phone is just doesn't working the touch isn't working it's just frozen you can't do anything with it you click buttons you try to tap or you try to close it it doesn't even um, lock or anything like that so to do a force restart again it's gonna be simple and this force restart will work on iPhone 10 and above even the iPhone SE 2020 edition and if you're an older phone you can also look that up in other video that we have done so to do a force restart on a newer phone like the iPhone 13 Pro here that we have we're gonna want to press and release the volume up button and then press and release the volume down button and then finally hold the side button until you see the the screen is looking shut down and it goes black and the Apple logo appears again. So to do this in real time, first thing we're going to do is press and release the volume up and then volume down and then hold that side button. As you can see, the screen might show you slide to power off, but do not touch anything or do anything on the screen. Just simply wait till you see it go black and then it's going to go black and then you're going to wait for the Apple logo to reappear and once it reappears let go of that side button on your right hand side and now wait for it to do a force restart. What force restart does is it clears any sort of memory cache, software glitches, bugs that might have been causing the phone to just get stuck or frozen. Again it happens time to time because these are electronic devices you know, and eventually it gets to a point where it doesn't know what to do it's just sort of like okay I don't know what to do and kind of forcing it to do a restart again clears everything and just reloads the code behind it and the software and everything should start working again and you should be fine after doing that so hopefully this video is helpful if this video is helpful please make sure that like and subscribe button thanks for watching guys see you guys next time